Hi there, I'm Owen Hinchy from Tynes, and today I'm going to quickly walk through a brand new feature we're incredibly excited about called Forms. And if you've used Tynes before, you'll be familiar with how quick and easy it is to automate any manual workflow, regardless of complexity or objective. There is no code required, it works with any tool in your stack, and is super simple to learn. You visually build automated workflows, stories as we call them, by dragging and dropping multi-purpose building blocks onto the storyboard and connecting them together. What you'll typically end up with is something that looks like this. Here, we have a simplified version of a story built by one of our customers, which is designed to automate response to a lost or stolen employee laptop. The first thing we do is get the user's details in Okta. We figure out whether or not they, um, or we decide whether or not they require special treatment. We create an issue in JIRA, we get the user's assets, we reset their password, we remotely wipe the device in Jamf, we add a comment to the JIRA issue, and then we create a ticket in IT Service Desk, letting them know what's happened so they can go and get our colleague in your laptop. That's pretty cool. The problem with this, however, is that when the employee loses their laptop, they're probably going to send an email or a Slack message to the security team letting them know what's happened. That notification will sit there until somebody in the security team sees it and can action it using this story. That's less than ideal if the laptop is lost on a Friday night or if the security team happens to be on an offsite when it happens. What we would really, really like is a simple mechanism that would allow the employee tell the security team that the laptop's been lost and then have this automation story run automatically, regardless of day, time, or the security team's workload. Theoretically, we could do that today with some HTML and PHP and a webhook agent, but it's a bit of a pain because I need to know how to write code, deploy it, manage it, secure it, scale it, etc. In addition, I'm probably going to introduce one or more dependency on external teams that's going to slow me down. With forms, all that changes. Let's see how it works. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag a webhook agent onto the storyboard and change its name to receive form. Then I'm going to click on this new form tab in the toolbar. That will take me to a new interface, which is going to allow me to build a form, which I could then share with the employee who's lost their laptop. The name lost or stolen laptop looks good. I'll give it a description. Complete this form to let security know your laptop has been Pretty simple. The receiving agent is going to be the agent where the submitted form data is sent. It has to be a webhook agent. So I'm going to pick the one I just created, receive form. For fields, the first thing I need is the employee's details. So I'll click add field. I can choose from a variety of different types of field, everything from for or from file uploads to options to dates. In my case, I'll pick email and I'll enter email address. Description, I'll go enter your times of email address. I'll make that a required field. As you can see, when I'm adding these fields, the form preview, um, the form preview is updating automatically in real time. So the new field I'll add can be long text, uh, what happened? Description, um, let's say, how did your laptop uh, And I can use this information when I'm creating tickets and so on. I'm going to also make this required. And then I'll add one more field. Short text is fine for asset ID. Now, it's probably unlikely that the user will have the asset ID given their laptop's just been lost or stolen, but I'll add this just in case. If available, please include your asset ID. Um, I won't make it required though. 
And that's my form built. I can choose who can access this form by setting its privacy. Um, private forms are only accessible by people with access to the Times tenant. Public forms can be accessed by anyone with the unguessable uh, form link. In this case, I'm going to make the form public. I'll copy the public link and I can open the form in a new tab. And let's complete it here. What happened? I left it in a bar. And I don't have my asset ID and I'll press submit. Now, when I go back to my story, I should see that this receive form event or receive form agent has emitted an event. And when I view the event, I'll see a couple of interesting things. The first thing is that all the information that I entered in this form has been emitted as an event. The second thing is that this event looks exactly like any other Tynes event. That's really important because essentially it means I can integrate a form into my story without having to change anything in the actual story. So for example, let's connect this receive form agent up to the Okta agent. And now when this Okta agent runs, as in when a form is submitted, I should see that the Okta agent, without any changes, will pull back the information for the user based on the email address that was submitted in the form. Pretty cool. Now, you're probably thinking, but well, doesn't that mean that anyone with access to an employee's email address can essentially brick any user's laptop in the company? And that's a really good point. So let's add some uh, additional validation in here. What I'll do is I'll add, oh, no. Delete this guy. I'll add a duo prompt so that the user who submitted the form will receive a duo prompt asking them to continue. I'll configure this agent down here and say receive form body email address. And now if I go back to my form and submit it again. Uh, I left it, it in a cab. I gotta be more careful. Submit. And now, if I pick up my phone, hopefully you can see a dual prompt. And when I press approve, all these agents will immediately run. So I have gotten the user's information from Okta, figured that they're a normal user, created an issue, gotten their assets, reset their password, remotely wiped their champ, and created um, uh, created audit tickets with all the information that's been performed really, really, really quickly without ever having to write code or modify my story. And that's Forbes. We've been using it internally for the last couple of weeks for everything from uh, employee onboarding to running vulnerability scans, and we really, really love it. Um, you know, our mission in Tynes is to provide the teams closest with the work with the tools they need to automate their repetitive workflows. With forms, in minutes, you can build beautiful, powerful interfaces between teams that dramatically increases the speed at which important work happens. Um, if you're already a Tynes customer, you can log into your tenant and start trying forms today. If you're not a Tynes customer, sign up for a demo or a trial on Tynes.io. Uh, we'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching.